All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, uh, to the channel. This is to Blender, and today we are continuing Spartacus's journey through Skyrim. And we just got done with uh, a little bit of blacksmithing prep. We got uh, a bunch of items. We're going to go ahead and deposit them down here for our uh, continuation. And we're going to kind of do a little bit of management. Um, we're just going to drop off all these things. Uh, the management I was talking about is like getting, we're, we're, we're still going to go get our, you know, purchase our level, uh, or purchase our five levels for our um, uh, smithing. And we're going to do things like like undoing what I just did. Um, so anything that we're not going to be able to upgrade, so we won't be able to upgrade the ebony sword. Um, and we're not going to be upgrading these, you know, steel daggers. We'll be enchanting them. So anything that we're not going to upgrade... Uh, but we are going to enchant. We're going to remove from downstairs because it's going to be our, our forge area and move it up towards the arcane enchanter. So here, let's see. We're just kind of going through here looking for stuff that uh, we're going to need up there, but not down here. Looks like we should be good there. Um, let's see. Weapons, we'll keep that. Is there anything else we need to upgrade down here? Nope. We have this ebony armor that we uh, that has a nice value to it. Can't wait to sell that. We have our elven armor that we picked up from uh, the mm, a nice donation from a uh, Thalmor in uh, in Markarth. We have the scaled bracers uh, that uh, I believe we have an, a whole set of scaled armor now. So we'll uh, we'll go grab those and place them up here. We have our Thieves' Guild armor. Now, we are going to keep this on our person because we may go back to it at, at some point. Um, I believe it'll upgrade really well. Uh, same thing with the Bro Dark Brotherhood armor. It'll re upgrade really well once we get... Um... Oh, no, I didn't want that. I want to... Uh, it'll upgrade really well once we get Arcane Enchanting. There we go. Food, we're good. We got the one leak. Blue Mountain Flower. I believe we need some... See, we've got it. Miscellaneous. I'm also going to pick up some quarried stone um, out of this. Mm -mm -mm. There you are. I think I only need four. We're gonna we're gonna guess on it. Okay. So that should be all for that. This one, I believe, still has a little bit of, you know stuff in here we'll clean that out and get that all kind of consolidated as we go and here we're going to go to this box first because like i said i believe it's got you know the shield and it's got the scaled armor that we want to keep um it's got the old leather armor some elven daggers and just some other things. We're going to break some of this down. We're going to enchant some of it. Really just kind of managing this uh, this here. The leather. The strips. On the mammoth tusk we're going to leave here. Well, essentially this will eventually. Like once we, um, I think once we get uh, a family and stuff like that. And she, she becomes a vendor. Um, we'll utilize her to like dr dump off some of this stuff. Um... Need those the ring, poltergeist, the dagger, and the robes. Okay, so that should be all of that. We are. We were hungry. We ate everything in sight. And we're paying the price. We gained. It's Christmas. We gained too much. Too much on uh. During Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. So here we're gonna drop off all of those items like uh like we were saying that we aren't going to upgrade, but we are going to, uh, um, we'll keep the elven, Justin, we're going to keep the elven sword that uh, we had previously deposited, one, and one dagger, just in case we want to go back to that combo. And then we've got these to drop off, we don't want those, I don't want that, I don't want these steel daggers either. And I'm going to put the one Skyforge in here. Oh, yep, yep, 
So because we should be able to utilize and get around our a nuisance where we have to open up the inventory by utilizing the elven sword instead. And we'll put these ebony armor in there. I can't put the amulet of Talos in there for some reason. There's the scaled stuff, so we're going to hold on to that. See what uh, see what we can upgrade out of there. Uh, hopefully, we get to the um, the point where we can actually up do the upgrading of uh, of scaled armor. That would uh, that would be very nice for our for our uses. We'll keep some salt piles, and we'll actually go drop some of that off. Um, and uh, some carrots. See if we can't make ourselves some beef stew if for no other reason than to test come here go to our ingredients hit our macro and then come down here pull pick up some salt piles and some garlic There's our garlic. We're only going to take 10 of it. And we'll take a little, we'll take a bit more salt pile though. There we go. And now our weight is 332. Oh lord, what do we got on? What do we got in here? Oh, I believe we still have all the smithing stuff, like the leather and stuff like that. So, first, um, we're going to use that quarried stone that we picked up. I think it's a fireplace because we want to uh, we want to cook a little bit. Raw beef, and carrots. I just had them. Oh, no, no, no. They're over here. I don't think I picked them up. There's the carrots. There's the raw beef. Potatoes, tomatoes, and cabbage. And overweight again. See, I told you we ate everything in sight. I overshot that one a little bit. Give me the cabbage. See what's in these, uh... Sacks, tomatoes, didn't want the apples. Oh, we have more carrots. Good, good. All right. So here, we're going to make uh, make two things. First, we're going to come down here and make the more important one, which is the vegetable soup. And then secondly, we're going to come up here and we're going to make this beef stew. There we go. Now we're out of garlic and carrots. We're going to go put our, clean up our mess and put away our stuff. Mm -hmm. Come down here to food. We'll drop our 80 cabbage. Good God. Drop that. Drop the tomato. Keep the, uh, oh, ate one. All right. So now... Is that we're just gonna go clean up this uh, the rest of this put our leather and stuff down here once we get more barrels and get this all filled out there will be more places when we can put them closer but for now we're just kind of utilizing this one barrel system to, uh, to drop everything in here that we want to actually upgrade so to keep the elven sword I dropped the dagger I think we keep all the rest of this almost all none of it oh it's force one but it goes away Almost the right. I don't think the rest of this doesn't will cost us any weight. Sword. Skyforge is lighter than the Elven. That's impressive. Skyforge steel is just really, really good. Oh, and I forgot to take those off. We're going to drop these. Scaled items here. Got our food. Got our ingredients. 
and miscellaneous. Here are the pelts. We'll leave the dynamo cores. They're just for selling, so we'll go ahead and keep those and, and see if we can't get rid of them. Uh, random ingots. All the flawless gems. There's some iron that we uh, obviously don't want to hold on to. Moonstone ore. Refined moonstone. I don't know why we kept the shovel. What on earth were we doing? I'm going to go throw that outside. Alright, so our weight is now at 170. That's much more manageable. And we've got... Uh, we've got to go over here to the enchanter's table. And drop a few things off that we forgot to drop off before. There we go. The gloves of the pulse. Boop, boop, boop. Gloves of the P. The punchy man. Not sure what's weighing us down. I think it's the major the majority of what's weighing us down is right there in the uh, the shovel. Gotta drop these cores, and uh, we have quite a few potions. And here we're going to drop those cores off. There we go. And get rid of the shovel. Outside. We also have the two sets of armor. So we have this. But Elven's actually really light. It costs, what, four, five, six, seven? Seven weight in total. It costs the entire Elven armor. Costs as much as the singular guilds, you know, thieves guild armor. All right, and the last but not least, we're going to take this elven sword. We're going to put it on our favorites, and then we're actually going to just because I think the elven looks cooler, and we're going to put that on four and change this to three. Yeah, that should do it. We're going to undo the transmute uh, off our quick menu. And the same thing with this torch. Actually, no. We'll leave the torch on. I think at the moment the uh, Skyforge does more damage than the Elven, which is okay. But I think once they're both upgraded, um, it'll be uh, they'll be equal. We'll go Elven Sword, Skyforge. We're going to hop over to Whiterun because we still need to purchase our... Um, we're going to Yorland, so we're going to go to Dragon's Reach. But um, we're going to go purchase our five levels that uh, for the for smithing from him. We should have enough for it, I believe. There we go. Yorland, are you here yet? You are. What a good guy. Got a lot of steel to shape. I need more training in that smithing that you helped me with before. I'll show you what I can. Let's see, 43. 48, that gets us almost to 50. Let's see how far we level up. Just about half? Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, we'll use the rest of this. Um... Oh, I don't, I don't care about your quest. What, what, what quest is it? No, I'm not visiting the Shrine of Azura. You guys. Still have the witches. That seems rough with their fireballs. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But, um, we just got our smithing training, so we should be able to jump back home. And, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of smithing and see if we can't get, uh, get that pushed. 
just a little higher. Just making sure we don't have bandits jump into our house again like last time. At least I hope that's how you make sure they don't do that. Alright, so we're going to come down here and uh, won't need those. Grab all the pelts. Random ingots and random ore, because we're going to turn those into into something. The diamond, the hide, the pelt. I'm not sure how much... Uh, I think the pelt we actually can't use, or, or the, one of them. Yeah, I think it's the pelt. Got that. Mm -hmm. The flawless gems, we want those. Regular garnet, we want that. The gold ore and the gold ingots we'll need. Apparently we picked up some fittings, I think it was, some iron stuff. We need the iron ingots. All the leather. We need those gems because they're not doing any good down here. Can't get filled that way. Snow pelt, steel, so much, so many pelts. Um, we won't be able to upgrade the glass sword big enough. Um, we'll take the one elven dagger. Oh, looks like we kept one. Okay. And I think we'll be able to upgrade the force horn well. Okay. Let's see, did we collect anything while we were gone? We did not, hasn't been enough time. Throw our smelter over here and make all these uh, these items that uh, we have, like the corundum ingots, the iron ingots, because we do have quite a decent amount of gold, and we do still need um we still need iron for uh, housing stuff like nails and so on and so forth, and we'll need a lot of nails. Alright, I think that's it for that. Now, let's make, let's make us some items, shall we? So here, when I do this, uh, you can, we could continue with the building materials. Uh, we got some stuff for locks, um, which is good uh, for the building itself. But the way to do it is with this jewelry. Um, I'm going to try and do the smaller ones first. So like a, uh, we have a garnet ring, an amethyst ring. Uh, just trying to make sure that these, like this flawless one, doesn't need more than more than what it needs. The jeweled one here, two flawless garnets, is 380. Whereas this is a 160, which translates to 320. So I believe, oh wait, that's flawless garnets. Where's the other flawless garnet? Rubies. Just take silver ingots. Awesome. And a ruby necklace, 550. So the ruby ring will go ahead and skip, right? Because it needs the silver. And we'll go for the, uh, probably the ruby necklace here at 550. I think we can almost make all of this. So um, we'll make the gold diamond ring. Uh, last or the gold and gold diamond ring will it'll be last because it has the highest and let's start with this here The 
think these are all down because uh, yeah, we, we lack the silver to create the rest of them. Um, we can still make the gold necklace here and the gold diamond ring. This is just an emerald, two flawless amethysts. There we go. So the gold is very limited. You have to have these really big gems. Um, because of that, we're going to make um, these rings. We're going to make the rings um, rather than the necklace. The necklace, I believe, makes more. Um, e each gold ring, it gets two. So technically, it's a 150 versus a 120. But I don't think that's how it works in the level up. However, it does create two items. And since we are going to be enchanting things at some point, um, having two rings each time we want to do that is actually going to be very, very, very helpful for us. So we're going to just crank these out as many as we can. Alright. That got us to almost 57, which is a, a nice, nice hit. We also leveled up. Um, we have 15,000, so I believe we should be able to pay for another five levels in smithing from Yorland. Um, should we, should we need to do that. However, we also have, um, uh, a few things where, that we want to upgrade. Such as this elven sword and our elven armor. Oh, well, hello. There were some flawless amethysts right here. See? I failed myself. Okay, so we have that. We have this. We have this. We have our... Our... Uh, stuff here. I want to be able to run. Because I think I'm going to have to run between the two. With a blacksmithing potion. If I can find one. I might have to go make the blacksmithing potion. There's the Forsworn gear. Let's see if we have the potion. We do not. Let's go make it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna drop some stuff off that we don't need because all we need at this point, I believe, is some leather, some iron, and uh, the refined moonstone. My goodness. Random ingots that they can have. And with the ore. Oh, we want them to turn that into... Apparently, that, that was all we needed. Alright. And then we have our leather here. There we go. Now we can drop off the leather, and that should get us the ability to run. There's our gold ore, the leather down, and the leather strips. Oh, we need to we need to actually keep some of that leather. We'll go to twenty, just in case. Oh man, this mouse. Every time I hit trying to click down on miscellaneous for some reason, it just, just won't do it. Look at these dwarven ingots. Iron fittings. Iron ingots. No, we'll keep those because we do need them. The leather that. Moonstone ore. We don't need that. We don't need the orca chalcum either. At least not yet. We've got our moonstone. Got this darn shovel. And we'll keep a stealing it because we will try to upgrade our uh, our Skyforge. Now it's time to make a uh, blacksmithing potion. We're actually going to make two so uh, we don't have to 
have to try super hard. We'll need blister warrant. Uh, we only need two. And spriggan sap. Hmm. Blister Bart, Sprig and Sap. Fortify Smithing, 30% better. T horrific. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna upgrade all of the armor we have. We have, I believe, nine or we have ten moonstone ore in total. Or moonstone um Yeah, refined moonstone. I think that's the that's one for each piece, which is three pieces. If we decide to make the gilded chest, we make the gilded chest, that's four, that's seven, plus the sword is eight. But we should have enough to make the gilded chest, assuming that we could upgrade it. Here we're going to take this uh, smithing potion and upgrade all of our items. So we've got the uh... oh shucks. Can't, can't upgrade the gilded armor. It's unfortunate. Oh, we need a quicksilver ingot. That we have. Alright. Or did we use it to do our uh, other chest? Thought we had a Quicksilver. Well, I could have swore we did. Now, uh, last but not least, we'll take this, uh, this weapon. We'll keep the Gilded Chest. And we're just going to bank it, essentially, and go until we get some Quicksilver. We're going to upgrade the Elven Dagger, the Elven Sword, and the Skyforge. Uh, it's good to check and make sure that you have all your materials first, um, because you want to be able to do it all in one shot. Oh, there's that. So we can also get the... So right there, uh, I also want to upgrade my Orc Bow. And so I need some Orca Chalcum. Ch Orca Chalcum. There we go. Now I believe we are ready. Well, take our potion, fortify our smithing. We are not gonna upgrade, no. No, no, no. There we go. Now, as you can see, the uh, Skyforge Steel and the Elven are exactly the same in damage, which is good because that means we can now... Um, we did, unfortunately, get the Elven Light Armor, but that's okay. It does. It is still significantly better for us um, than what we were. We're at 379 armor rating, which is much, much better for, the, for us than the... Uh, I believe our previous one was like 260. Um, that's a hundred out of the five hundred, so I think it's just it's about one fifth. It's about what's one fifth? What's twenty percent of eighty six? So sixteen uh, yeah, sixty seventeen point seventeen point two or so. And we'll drop this gilded armor. 
is that can be upgraded. Uh, we just got to find that Quicksilver. I believe there's a... Um, I believe there's a mine up in Dawnstar that has it. So... Got these potions. Miscellaneous. These weapons. This elven dagger is at 41, which is impressive given the uh, the attack speed. We're going to keep a dagger or a valid dagger close so that we can test some other things um, later with the uh, the difference between the dagger in the offhand and the uh, I'm not because I'm not sure if uh, it, it should the double sword should outscale in the end game, but uh, we'll have to we'll have to test to make sure. So we'll put our gilded armor in here. Can't put our arm our talos on there, so we'll put it on. None of those necklaces or anything. And we've got our weapons. We'll put our dagger down. Until we're ready for that. This Force One bow. I'm actually going to pick that up because I don't... I'm never going to upgrade a Force One bow for... Where'd it go? There it is. Doesn't make sense. It's F. It starts with F. You put it all the way down here under the... Okay. Never going to upgrade the Force One bow with a, a refined Moonstone. That seems silly to me anyway. Got all that. Got our potion still. Ingredients. We got our cooked stuff. Can we read this? We did. And we'll drop off all of the rest of these mats because we are finished with them. At least for the time being. Gonna drop that shovel outside. And we are down to a 161 on our weight. That'll work. And then, I don't think we have... We have just the, uh, the shovel to drop outside. Put it over here by the clay that we're not using. Alright. So now we are at 300 and uh, we apparently do 96 damage according to this. I think it's above that. And 379 armor rating. Um, we haven't enchanted anything. We do... We did level up so we are going to, as promised... Jump to Dragon's Reach again to go have Yorland uh, train us for five more. Technically, we probably should have done that before we upgraded our items. Um, but you live and you learn. Or hindsight is twenty twenty. Yorland looks like he is sleeping in today. 7 o'clock is no good. 8 o'clock is no good. Oh. There we go. Got a lot of steel to shape. It's an honorable Will you crime. take my money? I'll show you what I can. Oh, I have to level up to train more. So no. No, you won't take my money. We'll go with health. Alright. And I need training and smithing. I'll show you what I can. There we go. So we went from 15,000 to 6,000. So we took just about 9,000 gold uh, to get it to 62 there. Um, I believe we can actually train with him all the way till 90. Let's see if that would have made any difference. And granted, we don't have the 30% buff from the um, blacksmith. Nope. 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 So, maybe with the potion, but since we used the potion, we're uh, comparable. Uh, however, we did get 
our level up. Oh. Misclick. And here's our smithing. So now we have 60. There's arcane smithing. That's a very good perk to get if you're going to use enchanted armor. Now here's advanced armors. We need to get this regardless because we want to get up to glass, which is at 70. So that's our next next big jump. It's the arcane. I think, if I remember right, we hit 80 in... Oh, we are so close to 80 in one-handed. Why are you so close? And how is our alchemy doing? Right here. So this is our gold maker. Um, generally, you're, you're usually going to get sick, uh, all five points in this. Uh, to make them stronger. And I believe we can actually get both of them. Yes. There we go. So now our potions should be stronger, which allows us to get more gold. And uh, when we when we do our loop, um, we only need, let's see, how many perks do we need? We need one, two, or one, two, and then these three is five, six, seven, Eight. Eight perks for the um, alteration tree. The big ones we, we want to get here are restoration, regeneration, and then necromage. But we want to get necromage while we are a vampire. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll do that at uh, hopefully pretty soon. We'll uh, we'll start pushing the dawn guard. Um, but we are really just kind of waiting at this point. You know, doing our our home stuff and whatnot because we we want we want the courier to show up you know we we did the um the quest i believe for oh no we need to tell we need to finish opening that up so we need to tell the arantino boy that we have completed his uh his contract and then we should be able to open up the Dark Brotherhood once we get a nice, a lovely, you know, welcome letter from the uh, from the courier. All right. Well, well, all the kind. She's dead, kid. She died. She didn't even get to go to sleep. Thank you. Thank you again. There we go. And you have some expensive mats in here, if I remember correctly, with the frost salts. Salt pile. Oh, did that come back? It did. The nightshade will take the iron dagger. Uh, the human flesh, naturally. And then there's a human heart. Not going to disturb your sacrament anymore, then we just kicked you out. What I believe are probably your mother's bones around. The pitchfork, the knapsack. And I think that's it for here. All right. Well, now that that's open, uh, we'll, um, we'll run around. And um, I'm probably going to go up to Dawnstar and do the uh, the mine up there next. Um, that way we have some Quicksilver ingots on hand uh, for that Gilded Armor potentially. Um, and then we're just going to continue playing the game, but we're basically trying to wait for the Darn Courier to show up. We may have to wait a couple days, and then we'll go to sleep in Riverwood. That'll end it for now. Thanks for uh, showing up. The uh, If you have any tips, tricks... Uh, critiques or you want anything explained or you want to see anything in a future video uh, just leave it in a comment and i'll get to it as soon as i can thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one